real fast, but this would be difficult on a total first timer. But but I do it anyway. I even get them even get them right here by the halter sometimes and see if I can lead them right up here. That's going to be hard, but they're going to get broke to lead. I mean, if now I'll just kind of wait here until that weight comes forward. If she pulls away, I'll just start over. See that way. If she ever hooked her halter on something, or or you're trying to get her to be the last horse to come in the trailer and there's just no room for you to stand, they kind of know about how to get their feet moving, even where there's nowhere to go. But I wouldn't start this way. See, I'll just kind of wait right here for her. Actually, this reminds me of a deal that happened to me one time. I, Tom Dorrance was a fellow that was a neighbor and friend that helped me a lot with my horses. One day he called up, I was on a big ranch and it had been raining, so a lot of times it was in the time of the year where the cattle just need to eat grass and get fat and not a lot of stuff going on. And he asked me what I was up to, and I said I got some colts going and and uh, filler stuff, and uh, he said I was thinking about coming up and spending some time with you. So I thought, oh, that'd be good. He said it's not raining there, is it? And I said, no. He said it's raining here, and I thought he was going to back off on me, and it wasn't raining. So I said, no, it's not raining. It looks good here. And so he came, but just as he came in the valley, it started raining. I was pretty disappointed. There, go. But anyway, we were stuck in the barn, and oh, we did do some good things that day, and this is one of them.